Well, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning in. This is your general energy reading for January 1st through the 16th, 2019. Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. That is truly appreciated. If you're new, please be sure to click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell if you'd like to know when a new video has been uploaded. And be sure to show me some love with a thumbs up on this video. All right, Sagittarius, you guys know general energy will not resonate spot on for everyone every time. So please take the information and whatever you find useful because you know, guys know I ask my guys to provide something useful for everybody. And this could be happening to you. You could be implementing it, but I'm going to read it just one way. And of course, we'll pull relationship cards as well at the end. Now, I did not do year forecast readings. I did not feel comfortable with that due to so many choices of free will. And I did not feel like a whole general energy reading I just, I just didn't feel like that would be fair. So my guys recommended that I pull um, Archangel Oracle cards for the year. So that a link to that video, who is your Archangel for 2019, will be at the end. Please be sure to pay attention to your sun, moon, and rising for this video as well as that. This one. Surrender, Saggies, surrender. You fun-loving Sagittarius, it is time to just surrender to the energy. And let's find out why. These are the Vintage Wisdom Oracle Cards, if you're interested in knowing. Sagittarius. January 1st to the 16th, Sagittarius. Ooh, all right. You know, that's so funny because Scorpio got a King of Wands. So if you feel like you're a cusper, please watch both videos. This could include a Scorpio, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it does. We do have the Queen of Cups here. Um, so it could, again, be a Scorpio, but it could also be a Cancer or Pisces here. And then, oh, what do you know? We have the King of Wands. We have you. <laughs> so a surrender. All right. So the King of Swords could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra. Gemini, Libra. Oh, for crying out loud. Aquarius. And then we have the Hangman. All right, so looks like decisions need to be made. And with the Queen of Cups down here, it's, you know, I feel as though that this, whatever the situation is, whatever the decision around the situation is that needs to be made, you need to surrender to your heart here. You need to be making this decision out of love and kindness. With the King of Swords, you know, I'm wondering, have you been, you know, relying on logic versus love? All right. So the heart versus the mind here with the queen of swords, it feels like you are rooted in the heart here that the decisions that you've been making with your mind have not necessarily been on point. And so now it's time to consult your heart and whatever the situation may be. Four of cups. I mean, overthinking <laughs> overthinking you know 
you got to do what's best for your emotions, what's best for your heart. The You know, with the Four of Cups, I... Yeah, if if the four was next to the king of wands, I would talk about you, Sagis, being bored here. But it just it feels like your creative energy needs to be flourished versus your overthinking everything. There is a transformation to be had here. I like the death card. It is about changes, but not like tower strength changes as in not really in your control it just it feels like whatever the situation is that the decision needs to be made in love you need to surrender to love here just let love envelop you and go with what feels really great stop overthinking the situation here and you will find out that you're it just feels like you're going to change you're going to grow. You're going to have this beautiful, beautiful thing offered to you here. Yes, the Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> Improvements are here. Impro improvements are available, whether they're financial or if it's stability. It just feels, you know, whatever this situation is, you need to give over to your heart and you're going to find that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. All right, let's get a few whispers of love here. Okay, well, we're going to pull some more cards for clarifiers on this death card. Eight of Wands, moving places, going places. But this is not about leading with your mind. This is about leading with your gut feelings, with your heart here. I just, I truly feel like it. Hmm, some of you are moving. Moving, like literally moving. Yep, taking a journey here. Whether this is a journey of love, a physical journey, it's just really, I mean, the fool is telling you to just leap. Leap with your heart here. You guys, just leap with your heart, okay? Things are going forward. Don't be afraid. It's it's where you're supposed to be. Whether you're leaving a relationship or you're fully committing to a relationship, whatever path you've currently been on, just go with your heart from here. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. <laughs> yes, this is what I've been telling them. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something loving from others is a way of showing love. Allow people to help you. Whomever this person is, whatever the situation is, allow the love, allow the strength of others to into your heart, Sagis. This is a once in a lifetime love. This is, I think, the third time I have pulled this card for this reading. This new year really feels like it's about love, 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 love. You know, if you're single... You could be meeting somebody. If you're already in a relationship, this could be about a deeper, stronger commitment, a deeper, stronger bond. Yeah. This could be about you showing yourself love and appreciation, forgiving yourself for anything and accepting yourself for everything you are. You know, forgiving yourself for anything you don't love, but accepting the fact that you are who you are and loving yourself anyways. I just, it, this, God, Sagis, you guys have been, love has been uh, 
all around you. Love is knocking outside your door. It just like, seriously, sorry. <laughs> that song just popped into my head. It feels like you guys have had love all around you for such a while, such a while. And it's time to stop overthinking this shit and just be love. Love yourself. Love the one you're with. Love the one you're with. Love the one you're with. I don't know. You guys are so full of song right now. I love you, Sagi. You energy. I love it. I just, it feels like this could be a journey of the heart. This could literally be a journey of physical. You're going somewhere. But, you know, it just feels like this journey of the heart that you're on, you know, people who have come and gone, they were, you were learning lessons. You were learning lessons and now it's time to move forward with the love in your heart, whether you're in a romantic relationship or not, all of your relationships are about moving forward with a loving heart. Your friendships, your family ships, because why not? We said friendships. It's any relationship. You know, it's just an amazing, amazing, amazing feeling. And all these possibilities are around you, Saji. So stop thinking and just start feeling. Thank you so much for watching. Popping up will be a link to my channel in case you don't subscribe. Of course, you can subscribe below. As well as a link to that 2019 Who is My Archangel video. Happy New Year, Sagis. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video.